So what we have here is a, a collection of dinosaurs that we can visualize. And the fun thing is that we can actually place them here on the stage. I have a velociraptor there. If I want to see a compared to one of the other dinosaurs, I place them there. And we can see the different animals there on stage with us. And you can see the different sizes uh, and learn a little bit about each one. So if I tap on this plus icon, it will pause the dinosaur and I'll get these info card plus boxes. When I plus on them, press on them, I get a little bit of information so I can learn about these in physical, true physical size and get up close to each of the different components. So let me try one more thing, which is sort of fun. So we can put big dinosaurs down too. So that's a Tyrannosaurus rex, but you can see in the upper right, uh, it says he's a 20% size. So the stage is pretty big, so we can actually try to get him full size here. And you can take a look at his teeth and respond. So this is just another example of you know, taking the same technology but using it for an educational purpose. And so, so what's going on here is that what we can do is that we have a large selection of colored dominoes, but we also have a toy box of different audiences. So what it uses is the use of the depth sensor, and if I want to create a set of dominoes, all I have to do is click and drag, like this. Hit start, and we have a nice little domino set. But this isn't wide enough, so let's do a little bit more. Measuring is 
and something everyone loves to do. And we know actually that one of the most enjoyable parts is actually dreaming up the river. And this gives you the opportunity to dream it up in real time. Exactly. And you can change out the flooring and everything without, again, usually I have to go pick up the samples, bring them in, lay them down, and you can only see it in one or two little spots. And then you stand back and you can't decide if you love it or hate it until it's actually installed. And then I usually decide I don't like it and then I want to rip it out. So this is great because you can actually zoom in right on the product yep. and see it up close. I tell you what, Johnny, since we're going to be launching this in low storage during the holiday period, why don't we give this room a little bit of holiday cheer? Maybe a stocking or two. Conveniently, we have stockings in the furniture. Well, they yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Welcome to the future of home design. This is Hot Hardware. We're going to be looking at the Dinosaur AR app with the uh, Fab 2 Pro. Sure. So here we're going to add a virtual dinosaur to the world. Got it. And so I'll just add it right here. We'll start with this Caudiopteryx. It's a nice plant eater. You can see its teeth there. You know, nothing especially violent. Nothing to like get through flesh or anything. Just chomp down on plants. Right. And what's cool with Tango is that I can look around and actually look at different parts of it, get up close to it. Here it's a little easier if I make it a little smaller. So now I'm gonna do it at a 40% size so we can keep it all on screen. But we can get up close and you can see it's like, it's, it's really like there's an actual dinosaur here on the carpet. Now we did this Copteopteryx. Let's go something a little more violent, Velociraptor. So Velociraptor was actually a smaller dinosaur Get rid of Carpeopteryx. Here it is at full size. So Velociraptor is actually smaller than almost every adult human. You can see it's standing here. The movies did not really um, convey Velociraptor correctly. It is even had probably feathers, we believe. But if you get up close to its feet, through the feathers there, you can see it still has that claw that it's famous for. Right going on there and so this is the type of educational opportunity we see with tango and that you can really get a sense of things like how big is the dinosaur how does it behave when it look you can look at specific parts and just get a sense of how it actually was because you can really interact with it in 3d additionally just some simple things we can create our own museum dinosaur museum putting some extra dinosaur pictures up on the wall and you can see that these pictures are on the wall and they blend in pretty seamlessly with the picture over there which is real so you can use this to create your own dinosaur exhibit again more educational opportunities in museums if they want to add extra things to the world or maybe if you go in with a Tango device like the Fab 2 Pro, being able to actually see extra information. This is Hot Hardware. We're going to do a demo of the uh, domino game. Now I'm creating a new word. The uh, Fab 2 Pro. So I'm going to create uh, some um, bubble dominoes here. Okay. And then we can create, um, um, like, say, Let's create a um, butterfly. And then also let's just create the last one. Um, um, 
Okay. Uh, this is jumping around. Uh, okay. So this is gonna trigger from here, and then all the stuff gonna get spawned. So let's. Okay. The cow. And then the frog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is Hot Hardware. I'm gonna demo for you the Domino World Augmented Reality. So as you can see, when I press create, I can, I can drag these dominoes all around the table that we're at here, where everyone's doing all the press demos. I can move them if I want as well. Uh, I can erase, I can erase them. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. I can erase them as well. And this is the de desk where everyone's doing all these demos. So it's, it's, uh, I can actually do it on the floor if I wanted to. Let's see here. Or this table. Let's, let's try this table. You can basically put it anywhere. So this is the uh, Domino AR demo for the Fab 2 Pro. Yeah, so right, this, is, this is Hot Hardware. We are doing a demo of the AR game called Raise for like a, basically raising a pet. Okay, so we're going to airdrop our pet from the cloud. Boom. There's our pet. There's the pet. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go in for a closer look here. Hey, hey there, little guy. How are you doing? Aww. If you want to pet your dog, can you do it? Yeah. That would be even better if you can pet your dog. Okay, cool. So, now, what do I have here in front of me? Yeah. No, what do I have here in front of me? It's a wall, right? Wall, right. Yeah. It's a wall. Now, if I were to throw a physical rubber ball there, what's going to happen? It's going to bounce back. It's, it's going to bounce back. Yeah, throw a ball. Yeah, but this is a virtual ball. But watch what happens. It actually hits the wall and it bounces back. And the reason that works is because we have a depth sensor. So Tango is able to figure out the geometry of the real world and then apply it. So it enables developers such as our partner at Iguana Bee to uh, build apps that can give virtual objects physical properties. So let's look at another physical property here. So I am going to uh, place a radio right about here, okay? So now let's say if this were a physical radio, right? If this were a physical radio, I left it there. And if I walk around and I come back, my radio is still going to be where I left it. And as you can see, we have that with Tango. <laughs> so there's Tango's ability to get a sense of context to understand the space. Right, right. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. All right. So here we go. Are animals already being disobedient? Yes. He's kind of like very cat-like, doing his own thing. Oh, we don't have people walking through here. Yeah, people walking through can cause problems. Yeah, okay. So there he goes. Jumps back and forth. We can uh, stop that. Grab a ball. Traditional method. Alright, so ball goes pretty far. I'm going to give it a little slow. Oh, it's in the wall. <laughs> So I'm going to grab it again, try to throw it that way. There he is. No, she hasn't. It's cute. Let me do that one now. Oh. Here, but it's playing music now. <laughs> he's saying he's gonna dance. And that's all right here in the room. Come on, buddy. <laughs> all 
All right. And this is called what again? This is called Rays. Rays. Does this come with the phone? It does. It comes bundled. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So okay, this is Hot Hardware, and we're doing a demo here for the uh, like AR for like a like industrial solution. This is a opened up notebook, and then uh, on the screen here, go ahead. So what exactly are you showing on the screen then? What does it say there? So this is Lowe's Vision, um, running on the Fab 2 Pro with Tango. So redecorating is kind of what you saw on stage. All I have to do, I've got my little selection on the ground. So we have a depth sensor so we see where the ground is. If I tap, and then the furniture comes right in. So I'm able to add that. We add the side table. And there we go. We have some furniture in augmented reality. Because we do have the motion tracking, I am able to move around it so I can move to the side. Uh, I won't do that for the camera, but um, if I needed to, I can readjust these, move it around, maybe rotate it a bit. There you go. It's a really, real simple way to visualize uh, furniture appliances in your space.